There's no doubt that online dating is a huge market that allows people from different countries to meet each other. No longer are you bound by your own country, state or even town that you live in. Online dating really opens up a huge world of possibilities in which Filipinas are much sought after by men from all over the world. And we all know of most of the dangers that come with online dating, but there's one that's not frequently spoken about. And in this video, I'll tell you the big danger of online relationships, and even if you should be calling your online relationship a relationship. But first, if you're new to my channel, then I give you a warm welcome and hope you enjoy our friendly community. On this channel, I provide information, tips and resources from pre-dating a Filipina through to dating and marrying and then beyond. I speak about my experiences from my seven years of being with my Filipina wife and what I've learnt from others over many years. And I welcome differing, respectful views from people as we all have different experiences and we can certainly learn from one another. So feel free to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all our future videos and be sure to check out our community playlist for over 600 videos to date. So no doubt online relationships are a fantastic way to meet a person from the Philippines as it's not always possible to just fly to the Philippines straight away. And certainly in recent times with travel to the Philippines difficult or non-existent, online dating becomes the only real option to meet a Filipina. Many guys and girls may be just curious and they start out just testing the water to see what people they may come in contact with. But very soon they may find out that they're really enjoying talking to a particular person and finding out much about them. And many of these people may spend hours each day just chatting to each other and finding out the experiences of online dating is much better than they originally imagined it would be. Now, right here I'm not going to talk about all the online dangers that we all know about. You know, things like people looking to scam you or to get your personal details so they can pay a personal visit and turn out to be a real creep, etc. We've all heard plenty about keeping safe with online dating sites. Although I've touched on this topic in some previous videos, what I'm about to say really isn't spoken about very widely on YouTube. And many people, whether it's a Filipina, a foreign guy, or anyone participating in online dating fall into the same old trap time and time again only to end up disappointed later on. And what I'm referring to is when people start to think of themselves to be in a relationship with the other person rather quickly. And certainly for many before they have physically met each other in person. My view on this is that when you start chatting to a potential partner online, they're simply a chat mate and nothing more. If a person starts to believe that they're in a dating type of relationship, they convince their brain and themselves that they have real feelings and emotions around the other person. And what happens is very quickly, they start to believe they're in love with that person, even though they have never spent any sort of time together. Now stop right here and think about that rationally for one moment and you'll see how absurd that really is. The fact of the matter is that people when chatting over a computer can be very different to how they may be when you physically meet each other. Even if you chat over the computer for two or three hours every day, you still can't gauge how they are to be in a close up relationship with you. The way they act in the good times, bad times, when stressed, upset or happy, or facing everyday life challenges are all unknowns. And you won't start to find out about any of those things until you've spent some quality time with her for at least several weeks. So my strong view on this is that online dating helps you to connect to a potential partner in an effective and relatively easy way. But really, you can't fool yourself into believing that you're in a relationship no matter how bad you want to find that wonderful person. The reality is that all can seem fine online, but the real test will come when you finally meet each other. And as I say, 
spend plenty of time together to find out if their habits annoy you in any way or maybe you'll find out that there actually is no physical spark between the two of you. I've had plenty of men from this community tell me stories around dating a Filipino for up to two years online before finally getting on a plane and he flies off to meet her in the Philippines. The excitement and expectation was huge as he's been waiting for a long time for this moment. So can you imagine his disappointment when after all that time he meets her and quickly finds out that they really don't connect in person like he thought they did online. And again, one really needs to stop and think about this rationally. Can someone really call it a dating relationship when they've never even met in person? In my opinion, the couple are, as I said at the very start, chatmates, and there is nothing wrong with using that term. Once you guys meet up and spend plenty of time together, then this can change from being chatmates to dating if you guys find there is a spark, and you both want to start more a serious and exclusive relationship with one another. The reason I say this is a big danger of online dating is because people convince themselves that they're in a true relationship with someone that they apparently love over the internet. And that opens up many feelings and emotions for both people. The danger is leaving people emotionally shattered when you finally realise the person on the internet is not really the same as a person you've met face to face. And for some people who may have invested months or, as I say, even years, believing they were in love, this can be devastating and take some time to recover from. Some people may lose confidence in their own ability to make wise decisions and knock their confidence around. And regaining that confidence can take plenty of time for some people. And sadly, it is rare, but it does happen where people may be so devastated that they may harm themselves as a result. So make no mistake, online dating is no joke and don't promote the idea of a chatmate prematurely to make yourself feel better or not so lonely in life. As I always say, if a real and proper relationship is to commence, then allow it to do so in due course and in a natural way. For all those people who have chatmates online, I know many will eventually go and meet in person where there'll be no issues and you will then commence a real dating relationship with one another. So don't be disheartened by what I've said here and really enjoy your time getting to know your chatmate very well. So when you do meet, that will confirm what you've suspected when chatting online. And for the ones that meet and find they're not compatible, then if you've followed what I've said here, you won't be left broken hearted or devastated and it'll be much easier to keep moving forward in looking for the right person for you. For more information around Filipino relationships, be sure to check out the card on screen now. Thanks for watching, stay safe and take care.